after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lot's finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made. Full and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Pen Hook and Needles, episode 138. This is January 20th, 2015. It is a Tuesday, and we are podcasting at about 3.30 our time, Eastern Standard Time. Um, want to welcome, oh, I am, I am, Marlisha, I am, I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico, and that is uh, Talia, also known as Franciscan Gypsy on Everywhere on the Internet. Yeah, if you want to find me anywhere, most places I'm Lady Fernico, I, can't, I might be Shadow Light or Shadow Light One on my writing sites. I know, Tilly, I will get back to you, I promise. I'm a bad podcaster. I haven't answered her yet. You are a bad podcaster. I can't even believe I'm associating myself with yes. you. Yes. Um, we want to welcome... Because I've never caught up in the threads. I've never caught up in my private messages. We want to welcome all new and returning viewers. Thank you for joining us again, um, or thank you for joining us for the first time. We're glad you decided to spend some time with us. Um, if you are still lurking in the shadows, or you have just found us and are kind of sitting on the fence, join us. We are having a lot of fun with the sweater along. We have lots of alongs. We have lots of prizes that can be won, but you do have to be a member of the group. So please join us if you haven't already. We'd love to have you with us. Uh, we do have um, some new members who have um, officially joined us. What? I know I just felt like doing it. Blick. She had a birthday, but I think she gets younger and babyish or Flex the character. Yes, I know. So it's called. Anyway, um, we have uh, a few new members that we'd like to um, welcome who have uh, officially joined the group. Uh, we have Holland Holland Designs, who is Lisa. Uh, welcome, Lisa. And she, she designs, I believe she designs toys. Okay. I have no searches. I thought uh, week. Diana M. H2008, who is Diana. Welcome, Diana. Uh, Knits for Sanity, who is Linda. Welcome, Linda. Okay. Nia Nia 25. I, I don't have a name for that. Um, um, I think when I stalked her, I saw a name, but she doesn't have it on her Ravelry page. Right. So we um, want to welcome and her. And she was one of my testers for Oops the Bunny and was very, very helpful. Um, What's in your mug? And that's for everyone, not just you, Niana. <laughs> so Nia Nia. Nia Nia. What is in your mug? In my pen, hook, and needles mug, I have um, Earl Grey Moonlight. Karen um, Faye got me hooked on this. Um, and in my turn of a fiber festival mug. Okay, I was going to use a PHM mug, but I have a very bad habit of overfilling my... Um, because you can't just fill it part way and then come back to it later. I forgot. Because normally when I use my infuser... I use a bigger mug, so I just filled it up but you automatically. Can't just pour the thing in the cup. And well, it was, it I didn't have the right amount of leaves to do that. And no, actually, you really can't. It's a lot more difficult. Uh huh. But I'm drinking pumpkin spice chai. Okay. I don't usually like chais. They aren't very, or they aren't strong enough for me. But I, I need to use this. Up. I I just had to interrupt myself because I got a cup of tea. <laughs> um, there's one more member I want to welcome. That's hooked in me. Who is April? And April was my swap pot partner for the um. Knit Picks uh, Christmas Swap, so we're glad to have her with us. Welcome, April. Uh, we look forward to getting to know you all better and seeing all your wits and projects. Um, this sweater look? Yes, let me... This is cool. Okay, sorry, I'm in the process of binding off something. Um, so the sweater along is going strong. I was caught up. I don't believe that I am anymore. <laughs> um... The sweaters that I saw were all quite lovely. They are. They truly are. Several of them ended up going in my queue. Um, they would go in my queue if some of them were crochet. <laughs> Tilly, that beautiful sweater you're going to pull out. She's going to pull out the sweater? 
No, 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 not the one that she thought she finished. Oh. The um, did you see the cable one on our last podcast? I don't remember because sometimes I listen to her because I'm doing something else, and then I go back and I might and I look at the stuff. So. It was absolutely gorgeous, and I understand why Tilly, but it makes me sad because it's gorgeous. She has embraced the frog. Or no, is it, it's no, an O'Deary. She, she she's not embracing the frog. She's embracing the O'Deary. Um, I need to make a toy frog and send it to you. <laughs> oh, Tilly, we saw a frog. What was it? We saw a frog that I said we should send this to Tilly. Well, oh, it was a colorway. It was a colorway. Oh it was no, a, I think it was the name of the yarn. Yes, it was a colorway. Um, no, I mean as in the name. No, of no, the no. Yarn. It, was not, it was it was green. It was the actual colorway. Oh. Um, yeah, Tilly, we thought of you. Um. But I need to start writing people's names down. Tilly Trout. Usually I just write Tilly, and I know who that is. Tilly Trout. Tilly Trout. Sorry for the tearing noise. No, you're not. No, I'm really not. Okay. So, yes, all the lovely sweaters um, that I've gone ahead and placed in my queue. Because, you know, I have time to make all these lovely sweaters and wear all these lovely sweaters. She doesn't do anything else all day or all night. Um, but but it is. Except that's all I've been doing this weekend. Because mm-hmm. that's how I wanted to spend my birthday was sleeping. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not all you did this weekend, but more about that later. Yes. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So the sweater along, it's going strong. For those of you who are not familiar with the rules, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, it has been running from, uh, what we say, it was the 1st January. of January until March 31st. And... It doesn't matter when you start the project. It doesn't matter when you finish it. All that's really important is that you work on it at some point during the January 1st to uh, March 31st timeline. So you could have started it three years ago, as long as you work on it now. And you don't even have to finish it. Nope, you don't even have to finish it. You just have to work on it to be eligible for a prize. And you have to be a member of PHN. Mm -hmm. And 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 our co-host, Kathy, who is Knit Nerd. um, Yeah, she has slightly different rules. She has slightly different rules, but... We, we do have a co-host. Yes, and we it's do. Kathy, who is Knit Nerd, who is uh, Kathy 913, um, and the Knit Nerd podcast. And if you want to put your sweaters in both groups, you need to be a member of both groups. And, and it's no hardship. She's a fantastic group. Podcast. Oh, yes. Um, but uh, as I was saying, for us, because our rules are slightly mm-hmm. different, yeah. she doesn't allow whips. We do. Right. Um, but you can put a whip print a whip picture for each project that you worked on during that week. So if you have, if you are an amazing person, have six sweaters going, but only worked on four of them that week, you can put one picture for for each of those four projects that you worked on. But if you finished one of those projects that week, because, you know, you're a really awesome sweater knitter who who has nothing else to do. (laughs) Uh, Super fast. uh, Then you can put, uh, a finished object picture on top of your whip picture. Right. Um, and um, what we request is that they be sweaters for people. No pet sweaters. No toy sweaters. Sweaters for people. Mm-hmm. And people includes babies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just in case you were curious. Yes. I think that covers all the rules. I never actually write the rules in my show notes, so I'm going off of memory. Yes, I have the rules sort of in my notes, but but we do have the prizes, some of the prizes. I have them here. Um, Ty does not have them because she doesn't have my notes yet. But we have four prizes at this particular time. Did you add it in the thread itself? No, not yet. Okay. Um, we have a skein. This is from my stash. Um, it's Wild Hair Fibers, uh, Pinnacle Fingering Renaissance Colorway. And you might remember seeing this in one of the um, little shawl I made for my mom. I was going to say, I thought you made something ago. for Grandma. Uh, and this was an extra skein. Okay. So that's I one of the prizes. I think I gave you that yarn. Because I think it was from my stash originally. No, I bought it, and then, you, and then we traded up so I could have enough. Yeah, but I gave you a, a, a skein at one point. I don't remember. Because I had a skein as well. Um, I know that much is true. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We have... Two skeins of Mountain Fusion 
This is, I don't think I really like chai at all. This is the Teton, I think it's the Teton base in the Moonlight colorway. We have two of these. It is a That's bulky pretty. yarn, and it has um, 102 yards. So it's a total of 204 yards. And this was donated to us by uh, Mariette, who is Maria Wilhelmina. Thank you, Mariette. Yes, thank you. Um, and these were donated by Eileen, who is, I believe, Bella Socks. So somebody will win one skein of Malabrigo worsted, 216 yards. And this is, I guess this is worsted, I said, right? Yes, worsted. It is um, pure merino wool, and it is soft. It is, it is soft. It's kind of a peach, called peach. Yes. Um, another winner will win, and this is also donated by Eileen. This is um, Blue Sky Cotton. And these don't have any numbers. This is kind of a greeny, yellowy. It's looking a little more green on the count, uh, uh, camera than it actually is. And they win two of those. Yes, there's two of these. And I think it's the tag is kind of, I'm afraid to pull on it. It's 150 yards a piece, so you have 300 yards. And this is also, I think, a worsted weight. And then the last of the yarn donations is, um, that we have at this moment is another um, of the Blue Sky Cotton, 150 uh, yards, and there's two of these. And that's for another lucky winner. Okay? And then we have received a very, these are, thank you very much, Eileen. Uh, yes, thank these you. are all very generous donations. We also had um, some donations that are um, not um, uh, yarn related in terms of being yarn. They are fiber related in terms of their patterns. Uh, I was contacted by our very own George from 10 Hours or Less. And he, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, it is fantastic. Uh, we have very generous um, uh, donors. Uh, he donated a $25 gift certificate to 10 hours or less dot com uh, or to 10 hours or uh, uh, I think it's either to, to his 10, um, 10 hours or less dot com or to his Ravelry shop. Mm -hmm. I have to go back and look. But he will PM the winner directly to give the gift certificate and the options for redemption. But it is an amazing $25. You've all seen George's patterns, yes. both knitted and crocheted. He has another one up there that's absolutely gorgeous, gray and pink. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, thank check you. Uh, the show off thread. George usually gives us a sneak peek. Right. It is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, $25 can buy you a lot of his patterns. Yes, <laughs> that, can. That's an amazing prize. And we have a couple of other donations um, that we are waiting to finalize. Um, and uh, I sent a PM to, the, to one of the people uh, she will know who it is when she finds the PM in her box today um, uh, that I uh, didn't see it until now. So uh, that's a really decent prize, too, a very nice prize. Um, so, and, I, and the other one was through you. So we'll have Yeah, to and I'm still waiting. We're, we're waiting on confirmation for both of those. So we, ha we have some really nice prizes for this sweater along. We thank all the people who mm -hmm. donated. Uh, we really appreciate it because you guys get the benefit. It makes the sweater yes, along that much better. It does. So thank you. Okay. Uh, so, oh, publicity. Publicity? Yes, publicity, because I do actually have some publicity. Oh, you do? Um, come here. Oopsie is now released. Yay! So, Oops the Bunny. Oopsie. He, um, where's my oops? Where's my oops? There's. Where's um, oops? he has officially been released. Um, and while they snuggle, um, he is free from, uh, well, actually I released him a day early because all my testers were done with him. Um, so he, um, was, has, was released January 18th and he is free until January 25th. Um, so those of you who have not had a chance to pick him up yet, grab him while he's still free. If you live in the EU and are affected by the VAT stuff, send me a PM because I will make sure you still are able to get your gift. Right. She'll, she'll get it to you for that week period, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and hopefully by then they'll fix, uh, they'll get him through to uh, where he needs to be in order for you to pick, for people in the EU to buy him. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's everything about him. There's no code needed. You just put him in your cart. And the um, this only counts if you buy him on Ravelry. If you buy him on Craftsy, he's normal price, which is $3. Oopsie, 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 oops. So, okay. I'm very happy to have him out. Yay. Multiple peoples have picked him up. Oh, and if you test it for oops, please put uh, link him to your project pages. Yeah, I just have to put pictures And in. put in your pictures. So that way I know, well, that way more people can see how he works up. And boy, some people, everybody's actually, it was absolutely adorable. I mm. love the uh, variegated one. Oh, my in gosh. Fact, in fact, Nikki uh, of uh, Nicolo's World was wondering how it would look variegated. Nicole, look in the project pages for that. That there is one. was um, J Ladybug. Yeah, J Ladybug. Yeah. Um, who did that particular oops. And for Niana, Niana25, that was her first toy. Yay. Um, and it was very, very helpful. I need to um, have your input. I need to look and see what, how hers came out because I don't think I've seen that well, one. Well, it's, it's not up. Um, she hasn't linked it to her pattern yet. Yes, she needs to do that so I can see it. I want to see it. Yay. Okay. So. How many projects, uh, how many whips do you have? Or, um, not on the bookshelf. Uh, how many whips? Rough drafts. Rough drafts. Just ask me how many whips. I know what you mean. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you go first. How many do you have? Five. Okay, hold on one sec. Um, because I'm weaving in the end for one of the ones that we're going to talk about. Um, I'll show it while you're weaving. Well, I just want to weave in this particular one, and I'll flip it up so people can see. Um, this is the Scrap Log Cabin Blanket. I actually hadn't worked it on it at all this week until, well, today. <laughs> so it has not gotten a whole lot of love. I've had projects that require more attention. I just finished, uh, while we're talking here, another log. I'm about to add, where'd it go? Here it is. Some of, um, oh, what? Will I go with it? It doesn't matter if it goes. I guess not. That's a pretty, pretty color. It's like, that's really different. Well, yeah, that's the whole point. This, none of this blanket goes yeah, together. Yeah, it's a scrappy blanket. It's a scrappy blanket. Um, it's not like yours where it's all color coordinated. It really is just meant to be scrappy. That's going to very much brighten it up. Yes, because right now it's kind of dark. Except for this one. <laughs> this well, right this here. this right here. Yeah, and that. That's um, Marable Jen, isn't it? Yes, this okay. is her cray cray, and this this is this is uh, Heidi's yes. dead yarn. It is really pretty. So this will be the next yarn added in. This is from Davina Zeus's petals. Yes, so that'll be the next color. That'll be really pretty. In. Um, and then I'll be able to add something else at that point. Hot. So yeah, um, that's this blanket so far. Like I said, it hasn't gotten a whole lot of love. Um, it looks pretty. That pink will look really pretty. Yeah. Because it's just supposed to be scrappy, so. Scrappy dappy do. Um, scrappy rappy. I just add things where I feel like they should be added. I like this blue. Yeah, that's from my um, blue sweater, mm -hmm. my um, knitted blue sweater. That was sedum. That was sedum, I believe. The color or the sweater? The sweater. Yeah. The Jane Richmond sweater. Right, because the sweater, the color is celestial. Yeah. Your turn. My turn. Okay. Um. I didn't. I was pretty monogamous for the most most of the week, but I did manage to work on a few projects. So, I worked a little bit on the um, Christmas stocking project from Logan's Holiday Stocking, patterned by Kristen Omdahl, and I'm. I made quite. A, I actually did make quite a bit of progress. I think I did. And I have, I'm about one set of rows oh, wow. from doing the heel and all the stuff. So. It's getting there. Who was it who wanted to know? I think it was, was it Blondie Nevada or was it um, Googly Eyes Yarn? I forget which one. It was one of them. Who wanted to me to tell her how I like the heel. Um, I'm getting there. Not yet, but here it is. It has grown a bit. I haven't been using a marker doohickey, but it's grown. I think you can tell. I, I, think, it's, I think it's pretty apparent as well. I'm on, I'm on this last, this white row, and then I have, I think, another red a white and a green, or yeah, a red, a white, and a green, I think, because I think they want me to end on a color. 
So um, before I start doing whatever it is I have to do to turn for the heel or whatever. And this is all uh, Knit Picks Bravo Worsted in cream, I think it is, cherry red and forest green, I think. But I'm having fun. I still like it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm looking forward to finishing it, but it's, it's fun. It's not, it's not a hardship to do. I say this as I haven't gotten to the heel yet. Um, and it is living Heels in, aren't too bad. Yeah, it is living in my Plover Bird black sheet bag, medium size, and it's going back. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, your turn. So, um, let me just put this back in my bag. The next one I want to show is Thor. This is a Diana hat, Diana's hat pattern by Joanna Johnson. Um, it is um, Cascade paints in the uh, Thunder colorway. Heritage paints, isn't it? It might be Heritage. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I just know I used it. I still have not put the yarn information in my show notes, which is why I'm doing it completely from memory, and I'm sure I lost the ball band by now. Oh, there it is. Cascade Heritage Paints. So, I am about to enter into the long stockinette section where I just knit, 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 knit until it's a set number of rows. Usually I add extra rows just so it's more slouchy. So when you say knit, 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 does that mean you're going to have knit and pearls? Um, no, because it's in the round. It's completely just knit, 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 knit. But if you're just knitting in the round, doesn't it end up being pearl too? No, because that's stuff. Um, it's, it'll be pearl on the wrong end. Well, so I mean, you're, you're going to, there's no pearl to worry about because you're no, in no, the round. No, no, I know you're not, I know you're not purling, um, but will it have the same effect? Yeah, it'll just be stuck on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's in the round, so it's just knit, 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 um, until I reach my desired uh, length. It's really pretty. We, we were, and this is for mom. Yeah. We were, we were looking at that in better lighting and it's really really pretty. oh yeah the blue comes out really nicely but um in good lighting if i take it out while i'm grocery shopping it really looks gorgeous and that's usually where i work on this is when i'm grocery shopping what bag is that in this is in my plover birds birds on wire uh bag that's for medium yes yeah, it's for medium i'm not sure if the medium still the size it might be a little bigger now yeah i think her bags are a little bit bigger now so the birds are going to go fly okay i forgot to do this one this is my uh what's in the square blanket it is my, um, it's in my Vera Bradley bag, so I'm not going to pick that up because it's got too many things in it. And I kind of debated pulling this out because it's getting really big. Um, let's see. That's my hook. Let's see where I did it. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I don't have a stitch marker holding this for some reason. Okay. Uh, I'm starting on the kind of a neon -y purple right now. I think I think I was on this color last time I showed you. And I did the lavender. Well, maybe it was on the lavender. And then I did the pink. I don't know. I, I'm not sure where I was. But anyway, I've done a couple of, like maybe a log and a half or something. You're Sorry. encroaching into I my... I am, but I have to show them this. It is getting big. It doesn't show on the screen anymore. So, <laughs> you get the idea. She encroaches. I do. It still has a bit to go, and I'm not sure how big it's going to get. Still, I don't know how many more uh, colors, you know, how many times I'm going to have to do the colors uh, segments, but to fit my bed. Um, but for now... It, this is a fun project. I just I just do it as I feel like doing it, and it grows fairly quickly. I I like to do a log at a time if I can. It doesn't always happen, but that's the goal. Sometimes I do two. You see, my logs don't grow nearly that fast. Oh. There. Okay. Oh wait a minute. I'll use my stitch again. But yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this. It's it's a lot of fun, and I. I was really tickled. I got a PM from um, Charmaine, and she's going to start a crocheted log cabin. So I'm hoping she will put the whips in the progress page so we can see it. A crocheted one. Is Charmaine Harab name? 
Yes, it is. Um, and so, Charmaine, I am looking forward to seeing that, as I will tell you on my private message, or, or as I did already. I think I answered her already. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> She's special. I, I answered her right away. <laughs> um, so, yeah, okay, your turn. Okay, so um, my next one is uh, Argent. Where did I put Argent in? Hey, Argent's finished. Well, he's not finished. Huh? No, no, he just gets to be shown. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought he was good, I guess. Oh, th oh, no, there he is. Um, no, he's, I can just show the pieces. Now. Oh, okay. I thought he was done. No, he's not done yet, because I've had to put him aside for other projects. This is the Oops the Bunny uh, pattern that just got released. Um, and I'm using Knit Picks. Knit Picks. I have Bravo Worsted down here. It's not. It's Bravo uh, Sport. Um, and the colorway is white. Well, those colors are wrong, too. Um, because this isn't Bravo Worsted. Just, it's, let's see. Bravo Sport. Oh, it's Bravo Sport. Plus, I have this yarn, the um, Galileo. Oh, you're using In Galileo? the Argent colorway. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, the colors and everything are on my project page. So, I've got a bunny upper body done, working on the body, bunny back body, or bunny rear end, whichever you prefer. Minus the tail. Minus the tail. Um, and the bunny head. Itty bitty baby bunny head. Someone asked me if I was making a frog. That's not a frog. Frogs are green. Um, of course. We always make things whenever we want to make them, but... Yes, but... That's cute. He's well on his way. He's going to be itsy-bitsy. Now Tilly's not going to want to do the bunny because it's a frog. <laughs> he's not really a frog. He's a very cute bunny. He's a very cute bunny. He looks like this, Tilly. Just smaller, so no frogs. Oops. No, that's not oops. That's, um... Hi, Noel. Noel. My kitty cat. So, Baby Bunny's well on his way. Um, Baby Bunny is not staying here when he's done. Mm -mm. I have to keep mentioning this, that way Mom comes to terms. There we go. Because she never did come to terms with Baby Kitty not staying here. That's mine. So, okay. yes, that's the progress so far. All right, my Ocean Drift project is my next one. What that? This one? Denise, when you're ready to do those tags, let me know, because I probably want some. Well, she's not doing a tag. She's actually making bags. No, she's actually, she's also thinking about doing tags. Oh, is she? I, I just watched her podcast. Okay, I'm a little behind, I think. Um, I didn't do a whole lot on this. I started, I started sewing it together, and I, I think I'm going to take it out. Um, I started crocheting it together, because I'm not sure. You can see I've started, I didn't do much on this. Um, I think I need to go back and mark the stitches so I know where they are because it's said to put the back sides together and I need to make sure I'm on the back side because the way I'm doing it, I can't see the stitches. I've got the bottom facing me and not the top. Mm. So I can't see the stitches. And maybe that's right. I don't know. I just need to make sure I have the right number of stitches for the right, you know, so that I have the right number of stitches when I end. Um, I think it's more fun if you had the wrong number of stitches. Well, you would. End. But I, my stitches, my, my buttonhole is even and all that. So I, I may count it out and just go from here um, and you know, work from there. I don't know. I think it's right. I don't really want to take it out, so we'll see. Um, I would, and I would, I'm not talking about ripping it completely back. I'm just talking about ripping the seam, you know, the, this row right here, up to right here, out, and looking at it again. But, because when we were watching a movie or something at the time? Well, we were, but even when we were doing it, I was kind of not sure what we were doing. Yeah, you know, I had pinned it together, but I, it was hard to see because the uh, the way you look at the stitches, you know, to see where the stitch top is, mm -hmm. I can't see it because it's not facing me. Right. So, I don't know if that's just an idiosyncrasy of a pattern or if I've got the wrong side facing me. So, I need to check that out, make sure what I'm doing. So nothing really major. I just have to, when I feel like doing it and I have the brain power to 
understand what I'm looking at. I will look at that. And this is in my ginormous Cloverbird teacups bag, which I love. And it's going to go fly. Fly. Okay. So, um, next for me, this is going to be stop and start uh, picking up stitches, um, is my fisherman's cardigan. Oh, no. Um, let's not do that one yet. Let's do the swap gift. Um, this is the TARDIS bag pattern. It's based apparently on a London bag of some sort. It's a free pattern. It's marked as being by Jamie Eads Marie. Anyway, there's a link. Um, the show notes will include this pattern as well. So it's a G hook that I'm using. I'm using Corona One Pound in the colorway Royalty and Red Heart Super Saver in the colorways Black and White. Although I think my white is actually, my black is actually, um, the pink? Not nitpicks. Um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. So it looks like a sweater. It looks like a sweater right now, but the way I think it ends up is. Is this the front? Yes. Okay. Could you hold it back? It's going to be like that. It's working its way up. You can see where the windows are starting, the places are starting to form for the TARDIS. Um, I think I get one more section of these squares, and then I think will be the section of the squares of the windows. So it's, it's pretty heavy. heavy. Yeah, it is. Um, but it's a free pattern. It's um, it's, it's really good. It's an easy <clears throat> crochet. And I'm probably about halfway through if you include the strap. And I haven't hit any of the color work yet, so it works out pretty quickly. My swap is it's for the um, nerd swap nerdy swaps. Yeah, nerdy swaps. Uh, superhero versus villain swap. And it's not due until early February, but I'm trying to get it done. So it was the first big pattern? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I'm trying to get it done. A lot of my little goodies have arrived in. And where is it living? It's living in the TARDIS bag. Oh, that's right. You did say that. Um, bigger on the inside. It needs to be. <laughs> um, and it is a clover burr bag. It just seemed appropriate. I even have a TARDIS um, notions bag in here. Hmm. Very cute. So, it just seemed appropriate. You'd think I was this huge Doctor Who, Who fan. I've watched some episodes, but I'm not a huge fan. I don't hate it or anything. It's just not my favorite show. Heathen. There we go. Very cool bag. Okay. Um, my next project is my uh, Between Friends. I, I'm hungry. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention the pie. I still have one more. Um, do you want me to do... I'll do it after yours. Um, okay. My um, my Between Friends project from the Friendship Shawl Pattern by Kim Guzman. And I'm making progress on this. I use, I'm using a 35, a 35, <laughs> a 5.5 millimeter eye hook and Lion Brown Woolies Solid. And this is not the right bag. It is in this bag. Because it matches my angel bag. This is my this is my bag, large sweater bag, and her bags have gotten bigger since this as well. Um, I made a little bit of progress. I am now repeating this kind of bobble, bobble section. Did you get any work done since uh, that one day? A little bit. Um, let's see here. It's been a kind of a strange weekend because of things going on. So even though it was a long weekend, it was not conducive to uh, doing a lot of different projects. But So this is what it looks like so far. I did make a fair amount of progress. Oh, yeah, you did make a fair amount of progress. Um, I really like the way it's... It, and this project, more than a lot of others, has kind of sparked my creativity a little bit. I've been playing around with some designs. And I say that all the time, so you guys are probably just going to drop off your chair if I actually show you something. Just make sure you have, I'll try to warn you ahead of time so you can land on something soft. Land on something soft. But I'm really liking this. It looks really nice in this fisherman colorway. And uh, I'm, I'm having fun with it. I do need to pay a little bit of attention to it to make sure that I'm 
not adding any stitches to it. But other than that, it's fine. And I believe it is a free pattern. Um, she writes a very clear pattern, and I just love the way it works up. I really do. Um, do you think that this would work up as well in like a blue or a red? I think if other? you did like a powder blue. Yeah, you know, I was. I don't want a powder blue, but I want something. Maybe a forest green. I don't know. What do you think? What other colors do you think that this pattern might work up well in based on what you're seeing? I don't think it'll work well with a variegated no. or a striped, but maybe a semi-solid or another color that's solid. Um, those of you who know my preferences, dual tones, what do you think would look good in this? Um, just like, just asking. Just want to know. My angel bag from leaving my bag. Flying angels. Flying angels. Okay, so I actually got a fair amount of work done, Fisherman's Card, and by fair amount of work usually means a couple rows. Um, it's a Sarah Pattern by Jennifer Hagen. That's a lot, though, because it's cable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's got three charts per row. Mm -hmm. um, and it's Baroque, Comfort, Chunky, in the Barley colorway. And I actually uh, did this in public. That is gorgeous. I just love this. Am I in the middle row? No, I'm not. Okay. Not pulling a Lindsay? I usually don't like ending this one in the middle row if I can help it. Yeah, I don't like doing anything in the middle row. Well, I don't mind doing it in the middle row, but when, it's a comp when I'm in the middle of the cable row. Well, hold on. Okay. There. Wrong way around, Mom. Oh, okay. okay. We want them to be looking at the cable section. We'll slide it through. There we go. Well, okay. it's not nearly as interesting on the other end. Yeah. I mean, it's basically the same pattern you guys have been seeing. Here's the spine, and it's going to wrap around to the front. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's going to be so pretty. So it's going to gain a lot of work. I need to measure it out because I think I have to be going for like 14 inches or something. Well, that's not quite 14 inches though. <coughs> Are you saying 14 <coughs> inches from the bottom? <coughs> yes. Yeah. I think you probably have about maybe Let's another 15.5 inches. I bet you have about another 3 or 4 inches. So I have to measure it out. I don't think that's, that's not a ruler yet. So. Do you think that's a ruler? No, that's not a ruler yet. No, I don't think that's so. That's about 8 inches. It just takes so long to do, um, even though it's bulky and large needles. And sorry about the clicking noise. Uh, oh, the cable. This is US 11s, and it's a bulky yarn, but it's just that to do each row takes such an amount of time that um, it takes longer. But it's a very, very soft yarn. Yeah, the, when we It's very splitty. <laughs> when we first saw this and felt it, I didn't think it was all that soft, but it works up really soft. Yes, yeah, so this will be a joy to wear. Um, I have people petting it. It'll be warm. Yeah. Warm but light, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. I have one more here. And you have one more as well? So the creepy llamas are going to fly. Yeah. Okay, creepy llamas. See, Flying llamas. In my Knitting's My Bag, Autism Awareness Bag that Lois made for us for last year's Autism Awareness, mm -hmm. um, is my Pie in the Sky Shawl project. And I did a fair amount of pro uh, progress on this when we were out and about. Um, I think I lost my hook. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Okay. I have this one um, clipped off. I've gotten to the point now where I'm ready to start the ripples on this. So I have made, I think I did maybe four or five rows since I last saw you, or rounds or whatever you want to call it. And I'm getting ready to do the ripples. Um, I put it aside because I've been tired um, since we went to the red thread and I worked on it there. So that's what it looks like. I've got uh, Cascade Heritage Paints and Cas Cascade uh, something else. I think this is silk. Um, it has silk in it, this, this um, aqua teal kind of color. And this is Heritage Paints. This is from uh, Cat B913 when I won Pinktober. And this is, was gifted to me by Turbo Knitter. 64, just Kenneth. Like Kenneth, and it was very nice of him. So I wanted to make sure I used these, and I think it's going to be very pretty when it's done. So I will find my hook <laughs> eventually in here somewhere and get to work on it um, in the next few days. Oh, there's my hook. There it is. Yes, yeah, a G-hook. And this is by um, Sarah Peterson, and it's called the Key Lime Pie Shawl. Keyline Pie Shawl, yes. And, yeah, I like it a lot. She writes a good pattern. It's it's very clear. Um, I had tried a similar pattern. I think it was the Crichton 
And I think we said that that was lace weight. Yeah, I mean, that I think was I probably that was your big problem. Was that was lace weight? Lace weight. Lace weight. Lace weight. I may try yeah, that. Yeah, I don't like things that are lace weight. I don't either. I might try that again in a sock weight just to see because it's a similar construction to this. Um, but this is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Okay, your last one. Okay. Um, my last one is a project in pro uh, a design in progress. Do you show it or no? No, because it's not finished yet. It actually got ripped back a fair amount. Um, you did recently? Mm -hmm. I'll just show you. Okay. Uh, because I decided to change the way I was going to design a certain section. So, um, yeah. But I think it'll make it simpler for everyone, um, the way I've decided to change the design. And I picked up um, more yarn for my one that I'll do, because I generally do at least two. I do the original one that ends up being on all the pictures, um, and then I do a secondary one. So, that, so I'm testing the pattern along with you guys. Um, I catch a lot of mistakes that way when I'm actually reading from the pattern. So um, I'll be making a baby version of this one when my yarn comes in um, after I finish designing. So, um, and it is in my sweater size. Kissing Bunny's bag. By Plover Bird. By Plover Bird. I had to have this when I saw it. Okay. I know, Oopsie, you want this bag. Yeah. Um, so. Does it have any lettuce or tomatoes or carrots in it, though? Oh, I actually put that in his crafty information that he um, likes sleeping in stew pots. I need to put that in his Ravelry page. He likes sleeping in stew pots. With um, lettuce and not happy. vegetables and all sorts of things. Yeah. Um, it's part of the story. Yes, it yeah. is. Um, but on a similar note, even though this isn't new, uh, I need to have a design section. Mm -hmm. Because I sketched for the toy pattern that will be designed after this one. No real details on that because it's very hush-hush right now. Um Coot. And I picked up yarn for that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes. And I gather pictures start thinking of testing for another toy pattern. Um, so that usually I have a process. First I get an idea and then I'll make folders for those ideas. Put names to the different toys I'll make. I'll th I'm thinking of making. That's step number one. Step number two is going online, searching for pictures of said animals and gathering them together and putting them in the file. The more significant step is me actually sketching it and deciding how the construction is going to be. Um, and the once I've done that, I know I'm making the toy. Then the other step, the next step is to actually start making the toy, writing the pattern. Once the pattern's written, the initial toy's made, then I release the pattern to testers, and I make a second toy, which either ends up going to Davina, and I point at mom as I say Davina, um, or the next hope is for it to be in a gift box. Um, so Why do you point at me for Davina? Because you're there, and your family, and that. That's not Davina. I'm glad you realize that. I want to show everybody your hair. No, you aren't. You <laughs> behave yourself. Uh, so, um, I am starting to, beginning with Oops, to release some of the pictures from my sketch pad for the designs. Um, you're going to see in your Oops pattern the original sketch that helped me figure out how I was going to construct Oops, plus some of my notes that are in my design notebook. So, um gives you a little... I don't know, a little bit of something extra besides the normal pictures. And you can determine for yourself how close I hit to the mark for my sketches. <laughs> <laughs> it was a jumping off point, at least. Okay, so do you have any um, uh, bookshelf? No. Okay, I do have one on the bookshelf. I finished my Sherlock, who is uh, the MCAL by, uh, by Melissa's Crochet Patterns group, and by Melissa's Crochet. 
and I used a 3.25 millimeter D hook and Hobby Lobby. And I what does M cow mean for that? M cow means here. mystery cow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And cow means crochet along. Crochet along. Yes, it's a C A L. Um, not a not a. Cow Remember, cow. not everyone is well versed in Ravelry terminology. Yes, mommy. Very good, dear. Anyway, um, saws in the burnt pumpkin colorway and the red heart super saver saws in the rose pink colorway. Uh, no, I didn't use that. I used a gray instead of the pink. And I changed it a little bit because I think I got confused or got distracted or something because we had a lot going on this weekend. And I think I made it a little longer in certain places. So putting the legs where they asked me to put the legs wasn't going to work for me. So I made it swimming. And instead of a brontosaurus, I made it, I think it's called a plesiosaurus. But this is Sherlock. Isn't he cute? What did Dad call these welts? Yeah. <laughs> I said, why did you put those welts on it? <laughs> that's a welt. Um, so this is Sherlock. It does kind of look like um, when uh, people have, not welts, but... Um, Measles or something? No. Um, leprosy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, it's, um, I can't think of the term right now. Hi, buddy. Even if you are welty. It's not welty. His name is Sherlock. And he's cute. I, I think he's cute. Moles. Moles. Yes, he's cute. Yes, he's got a little mouth and everything. I didn't do too well on the, um, I did all right on the nose, but I had trouble with the mouth. I'm still working on my embroidery skills. I need to have Kenneth do my embroidery for me. He does a good job. My mom gives you plenty of practice with embroidery. Yes. But this is, this is Sherlock, and I like Sherlock. I think he's cute. He is. Moles he's and growing, all. He's growing on me a lot. So is like he it. going in your gift box? I don't know. <laughs> you have a problem. You know that, right? No. No. <laughs> yeah. This is Sherlock. He may he may end up going in my box only because I don't have a place to put him. I love him. He's cute. She has this problem where she makes a toy and then is unable to put it in a gift box. I gave away several of my toys. Yes, with much whining and crying involved. Did I give them away? Where are After they? After you wept. Are they gone? They are gone. All right. Um, a couple times your arm had to be twisted. No. Uh, what's next? Um, next is... What are you wearing? Or is that going to be that's, later? That's going to be part of what's next. Okay. Um, so royalties, including birthday presents. I was not aware that... Well, mom before you do that... Um, since this is not a royalty, okay. what I'm wearing, this is, because uh, I, I showed it after Christmas, mm -hmm. this is the Zuzu's petal that Taya made me. I love it. It's mine. Ooh. And it goes very well with, it goes well with my outfit. Okay, now you can go ahead. Yes, this is, I did not realize Mom made it. She was making it for me. Um, I've decided to wear it um, over the shoulders right now. I can wear it as a hood. My hair's a mess. I'm not going to pull it up. Um, Show it as a cow. Oh, I'm comfy. <laughs> you saw it as a cow at the uh, other episode. Yeah. Um, but it does actually fit me better in this way than I thought it would because mm -hmm. I ha I do have not broad shoulders but broader than mom's. Um, I actually have shoulders. I have shoulders. Is that what you call this thing? I've had to have physical therapy for these shoulders several times in the last few years. I definitely have shoulders. <laughs> um, um. So. Yes, they this um. It's very nicely. It's nice and warm, which is awesome. And it was a very pleasant surprise. Yeah. It was supposed to be the last thing I gave her, and I pulled it out thinking it was something else, and so she got it first. But she liked it. It was worth it. Yes, it was worth it's it. very awesome. I'm very happy with it. I did not anticipate it being mine. Yay. So thank you. Because I, I can do things like that. Yes. Um, okay. So um, how many uh, royalties do you have? Stash in Well, let's see. One, two. I have to go out of frame for just. And then the stuff in one bag, which goes together. Okay. Is all yours? Okay. I've got two. And this is not the sum total of everything I got for my birthday. It's just yeah. that that's what um, is yarn related. Are you counting for what you just got today? No. One more. Okay. So you have three? Four. Okay. I have four as well. Okay. So go ahead. You start. All right, the first thing I'm going to start with, we went to um, our local yarn shop for her, her birthday and for my birthday. My birthday is not until the Friday after this coming Friday, but we went so we wouldn't have to go back. <laughs> and I picked up 
Because it's a little, it's not a huge trek, but it's a little bit of a trek. We yeah. have to make it a full well, day thing when we go. It's the scheduling. Yeah. That's the problem. And this way, I don't like to leave my husband on a Saturday all day. This weekend, because of Martin Luther King Day, we had an extra day on Monday. So we were able to pull Saturday and go from, I think we were gone from like 12 to 6. Yeah. Um, because we got there, well, we left here at 11. Because I had to get up quite a bit early because it's, um, I normally don't get up till 2.30. Yeah, well, you went to bed early. Yeah. And then she got up early, and we left the house about 11.30, got there about 12. We stayed till 3.30. They closed at 4. Mm -hmm. Went and had dinner and then came home. And there was construction all kinds of stuff. This, I picked up four of these. This is the Barocco Remix. Um, See, this, the red pulls this in. Right. This is Barocco Remix. I got four of these. I had an idea of what I was going to make with it, but now I'm not sure. I know I'll make something that probably is a cowl or a scarf or something. Um, it was funny because there's a lady there. She was really sweet. Her name they have was, a lot of crocheters there. Yes. We had... For a, a while little, there, there was only crochet here. Yeah, crocheting. for a while there, we were all crocheting instead of no knitting. Um, and then it was about half and half or, you know. It was, yeah. It was very I kept nice. switching back and forth. It was very nice to have people that actually crocheted. And the lady, there's a lady there, her name was Roxanne. And she was so funny because we had the same color likes and this and that. And I said, I, they were like trying to get me to buy stuff because I had a book <laughs> that I was thinking about, but I don't want to buy anything. And they said something uh, that made me interested and I looked at Roxanne. I said, if you get up and look at it, I'll go look at it. Because she needs company. Yes, I do. So she was waiting to see which one I bought <laughs> before she bought hers. <laughs> I bought the one she wanted. I said, well, I asked you. <laughs> but um, she was really I think cute. the other color worked really with her hair. Though. I think so, too, because she had red in her hair. She's so cute. Um, and I bought this one. She bought two of the yellow green. I bought uh, four of these. And there's, I had like a total of just shy of 840 yards. So I should be able to make something really pretty with it. It's kind of a tweedy, semi-tweedy kind of, but not the tweed. I don't like the really, really tweedy, tweedy that's kind of in-your-face tweed. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a subtle, and I it's almost heathered, and I really like it. So that, you will, because I, I, I have two in here, two different things. Well, I, mine's all for one thing, so go ahead. And you still have four? Yeah. Because it'll make it four if I do the second part. Oh, oh, okay. Um, so mine is set aside for design. All the colors may or may not be used for the same. It's all meant for the same design, but it may not may or may not be used at the same time for the same design. Um, and this is worsted? This is worsted Cascade 220 mm -hmm. Heathers. And it just screams the design that I wanted to make. I really like this one. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I though. love this one. Yeah. Um... This is not the sum total of the number of skeins. This is the sum total of the colors, which, again, may or may not be all used together. And, of course, you wouldn't have to use the... Yes, no. This no. is just the colors scream to me this particular pattern that I've been wanting to um, design for a while. This is the one I sketched out uh, on the other night. Um, I think it was Saturday night. Yeah, I like these two colors. Um, so, this is what's... Next on the hook, once the current design goes into testing. Um, so, yeah, that's that's your little hint. These kind of colors. All you're getting. That's all you're getting. Wow. The fact that it's been sketched and that I have the yarn here. Now, I thought I was done at the red thread, but um, the proprietor sat down. One of the proprietors sat down. Oops. And she was starting to um, catalog or get ready to put things away. And the color was teal or teal blue. I said, I want that. I got three of these. Let's see. Let's see. I thought I got three of these. I guess I got two of these. I thought I got three, but I guess I got two. Two of these. This is Barocco Folio, which I've never used. And I've been wanting to because I've heard a lot about it. And it's super fine alpaca and 65% super fine alpaca and 35% rayon. And I believe it's a DK. Maybe not. Maybe it's a fingering. Sport, maybe? Maybe sport. Um, 
US fives. That sounds like a sport, sport or something. Weight. It's very, very soft, and there's um, 219 yards, so it's about 440 yards almost for both of them together. And look at that color. Is that not my colors? How did they answer that question? Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm Could not sure. Could you repeat the question? I think this Man, that's 90s for yeah, you. Yeah, I think this is going to be um, a cow or something. And at least with Barocco Folio, I should be able to get another one if I need it. It should be soft, too. It is very soft. The nice thing about this yarn shop is it has yarn that you can get a hold of easily elsewhere. Yes, it does. Um, if you run out of yardage. And they also and the prices are really decent. Heidi, you remember the pattern you gave me for my birthday slash uh, New Year's and I the Farfarala? I think I'm going to use these beads if I, if I decide to do the beading. Look at that. It's a six, size six millimeters. And I think looking at it up there, it's going to go just fine with it. Because I'm not a big flash person. I like things a little more. You see, subtle. I would make something red and have golden beads. Totally. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, totally would do that. Okay, so your turn. Um, so, I also got a tape measure there, but it's somewhere else right now. Okay. Hey, oopsie. Okay. So this is adding to my collection of when I eventually finish this blanket. I have a um, Arcania blanket that I want to make. And because this yarn is going out of um, stock, out of business, it's, it's going away. Discontinued? It's discontinued. We've been picking up whatever colors we can find. And my mom got me some of that in this color. Um, for your birthday. For my birthday. Um, color is 119. They I, didn't have much. No, they didn't. Um, when I see it, I pick it up because if I had it's known, going away. If I had known you were using it for a blanket, I would have picked up one of each of the colors instead of three of the same. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe you were going to make a toy out of it or something. Well, I could probably use it for a toy at some point anyway, but... And just use the leftover. Yeah, but more likely I'll just use what I need for the blanket and then whatever's left over I can use for whatever. What's the yardage? It's chunky, so it's probably not the greatest yardage. Um, 132 yards. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I mean, you can probably use one skein for a, you know, or half a skein for a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heidi opened her shop. Yes, she did. Heidi's shop is open. Undead Yarn. Go look at it. See yeah, I use, got. I use the gift card code that I have. My um, thing is from her is arriving. Heidi. And Heidi, that, that yarn I got, it's going to be in a toy. Heidi, this is going to be a bunny, I think. Look at this yarn. It is gorgeous. I may have to pick up the other one. It is just beautiful, Heidi. I know... I know you were asking me if this is the base I wanted. Um, I was looking at the yardage as well as the fact that it's DK, and it'll, I think it'll be enough for me to make an oops. Um, a baby oops. A baby oops. I am so excited about this. Idea. And you know that oops works up well with um, other colors in there. Yes. So it'll be a blue and gray oops. This is the werewolf base, and it's uh, four, 400 yards of DK werewolf base. This is what I made my Shire shawl out of. Now, here's the big question. I mean, in the shower color, obviously. But Are you going to keep this baby? Yes. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep the one of my design that I'm working on now that's in her yarn. Put my original one in the Knit Picks yarn in the gift basket. <laughs> this is staying. Oh, I'm keeping this one, too. You know, I know. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. But the other one, if I'm, I, I'm just, I, oops, will have be made several times, I'm sure. The, but Heidi, I think this is going to be an oops. You did really well with this color. It is gorgeous. You dropped the bat. Um, oh yes, the bat that she gave me. The na 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 bat ring. Um, but uh, Heidi has a it lot. It doesn't even fit my little finger. It'll fit the baby. <laughs> Heidi has about. She has a, a lot more yarn than she has had in the past, and some of the colors are very saturated, uh, which is makes me happy. Um. You should check it out if you're on the lookout for yarn. Heidi has got some really yeah, nice stuff out there. Yeah, I picked up some Tree Beard and some Shire. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it until it was in my cart already because I picked up specific colors for specific purpose. I didn't realize that it was a um, Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That I did a theme by accident there. Heidi, um, are you going to be doing Mr. Snow Miser? I think it's Snow Miser. The, the one you gave me, the... Um, a little bit of to yes, heat play miser with. and snow miser, cold miser. I think it is snow miser. 
cold visor, snow visor. The one you gave me to, to work with, the little um, one I was making the coaster out of. Let me know if you, I, I, don't, I can't buy it right now, but let me know if you ever, um, if I get birthday money, I will, mm -hmm. if you ever do it in a DK base like this with the stripes because I was thinking about making another bunny with stripes. That'd be cute. Because you it, saw how that worked out. Yeah, I think that would be really cute. Um, so just let me know if you intend to do that. No rush, just saying, if you put that in the DK base. Just yeah, chances me. are Heidi will be picking up a lot of the DK bases because mm -hmm. we like making the little baby toys. And that's nice yardage you have yeah, there. Yeah, that, 400, 400 that 400 yard is, is a very good um Especially yardage. if you want to do the bunny because the bunny really uses one color except for the mm -hmm. eyes. Exactly. So, um, And the tail. And if I, if I, I'm sure I will like the way this works out, but I have a feeling I'll be using this colorway for other things because it's just gorgeous. Well, the bunny's a good way to feel out, mm -hmm. and it gives a slightly different perspective for uh, Heidi's yarn as well because you see Heidi's yarn worked up in shawls and right, socks. Right, right. A toy is something different. This makes me happy, Heidi. Thank you. And Heidi is undead yarn. Yes. Okay. Um, That's Nitty Girl 1. Nitty Girl. Well, Nitty Girl 1 on she Nitty Girl. Instagram, I think. And I think it's just Nitty Girl on Ravelry. Or vice versa. I'm not quite sure. Right. Um, so, let's see. Oh, the next birthday present. Now, I haven't decided what I'm doing with this yet. This is Cyborg Crafting, who has a very lovely yarn. The yard isn't as good as Heidi's, but it's still very lovely yarn. Um, she does 250 yards, limited DK, fine superwash merino wool. And this is Space Oddity. And that is lovely. Look at that. The oranges and... Actually, Heidi, these are colors you'd like. Uh, very fall, orange, and it's not even quite... Wow. It's, it's brighter than it is on, on the screen. It was more of a brown. Mm -hmm. Oranges and browns, and maybe a little bit of black. Well, it's pumpkin spice. Yeah. yeah. So this is Space Oddity. Oh, Space Oddity. Uh, even though it looks like pumpkin mm -hmm. spice. So very, very lovely. I think you got me pumpkin spice from um, for Christmas. For Christmas. Yeah. And I could probably, if I really wanted to, use the two of them together. I'll have to look at them. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. How many more do you have? One? Two. Okay. This is my last one. This is what I got with part of the money that my, my parents got me for, gave me for Christmas. This is, a, I don't usually go out. I had to pick up one other um, bag maker. I'd heard a lot about these print bots. Oh, let me try this one with this money. This person will be staying on my bag making list. This is their extra, extra large wedge bag. I have to add her to the show notes. This is Silver Pumpkin. Look at the size of my... my I have my Ninja Turtle bags. Everybody who has seen this for any length of time knows I love the Ninja Turtles. And this bag is her two extra large. Look at the size of this thing. Ginormous. It is ginormous. I can put it on my... Are you pulling a stock in its zombie? I am. This is just, it makes me happy. Look, there's Raph, and there's Mikey. And that's the old, this old is the cartoon. cartoon. This is the 90s cartoon. That's there's like ancient. Raph, and Leo, and Raph Mikey, smiling. and Donatello. I just love, I love the turtles. Look at them. Isn't that awesome? And I'm going to put my, my Zedit bumper pill from Denise on here. Is it in there? It is. I already attached mine because I didn't have a wedge bag because my other wedge bag from Denise, the big one that Taya got me already has a Zeta Bumper Pill on it, and the other one is a little too small for me to put it on there. So I'm putting... And um, besides that one had a Zeta Bumper Pill also. It, no, it had a pull. It didn't oh, have a okay. Zeta one, just a pull. This one does not have a... I'm sorry for the crinkling. Um, put my Zeta Bumper Pill on here. I was afraid to put it on anything else because I was afraid I would lose it. So This is going to go on my... I put it on here. Yeah? Yeah. It'll fit. If it on one. Yeah. Let me fix it for you. Use some strength. There we go. So it has my, now it has my um, knitting den, Zeta Bumper Pearl, the Autism Awareness, on my wonderful turtle bag. Isn't this awesome? I have turtles. Happy. Happy. And my... Uh, birthday present that I, I love to show you is um, same bag maker, um, very nice size as you can see. Same size. Yes, um, and I also have my Zeta Bumper Pill on there, Autism Awareness, 
And this is a bunch of uh, kitty fake newspaper ads. Kitties in the News is what it's called. Yes. Um, the Chronicle. Yes, so you've got uh, Color Point gives birth to Great Dane, uh, Benign Feline Champion, Heartworm Union, Cat's Eye View, Under Cat Surprise Fan, <laughs> Fish and Chips Union salutes winner of Cutest Boss Award, Cat Fight over New Eatery, um, Love Triangle at love.cats.com. <laughs> Message from First Cats on Animal Planet. Uh, benign Feline Champions. Heart, yeah, the, I think that ad showed up over yeah, here, too. Yeah, cute. Um, windy from. Weather Report for, with Chili Calico. Mm -hmm. Message, Message from, from I, yeah, First Cat on Animal Planet. Number one Chronicle bestseller from James Catterson. When I saw that, I just had to get it for her. I mean, all, very all, all these gifts that... I say I got my husband. And I got them for her. Yeah, and very nice inside. So I can, I wouldn't put the blanket in here because there's not enough room in there. But this could easily fit a toy or a sweater. Mm -hmm. It's a huge bag. It is absolutely gigantic. Um, oopsie, you can fit in here. Oopsie, oopsie. Yep, and that's a full-grown oopsie. And there's still room. Yes, and there's still room. So. Um, very nice bag. And we don't usually do wedge bags. No, we I, don't. I couldn't. Uh, both of my bags from, from Denise are wedgies, and then this one. Wedgies. Wedgies. So the kitties are going to go flying now. I want to fly. Flying kitties? I want to fly. So my turtles. Well, turtles, those turtles can jump and... The raft. Well, oh, there's a bad raft. Yeah. That seems more appropriate. Okay. Oops. Mine didn't have anything in it. That's why it didn't fly. Yeah, that's why mine didn't fly either. Okay. Uh, all right. I think that's it for royalties. Yeah. Oh, wait. I have some patterns. Um, oh, okay. That were gifted to me very generously by some of y'all. Um, Nikki uh, gifted me Grace by Jane Richmond. Oh, that's nice. Lovely uh, sweater pattern. I believe it's fingering weight yarn. I have a couple fingering weight sweater amounts of yarn um, that are... Waiting to be cast on into something. So, when I eventually get sweaters off the needles, <laughs> uh, they will be used up. This is why I cannot buy any more sweaters amounts of yarn. Will I keep to that? Probably not, no. but I'm trying to be good. Lately, I've only been buying yarn for um, toys, which has been good because it's a lot less expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even when I buy so-called nice yarn, um, if I want to spoil myself a bit. I'm hoping that at the fiber festivals I can find uh, some DK yarn that is striped. If I do striping mm -hmm. yarns, I, I can't see buying a whole bunch of fingering weight. I have. I don't a bunch. use fingering weight a lot. I use it for shawls, mm -hmm. um, but I also use DK and worsted for that. So. I tend to just use DK worsted and bul then bulky for my sweaters. Mm -hmm. um, then there's uh, I got Quiet Journey, which um, was that another? No, that was a shawl, I believe, um, by Malaya Malia. That was gifted to me by Amanda Jane. So thank you, Amanda. Um, then I got the Alpine cardigan by, oh, let's see if I can pronounce this, this Schneck, Schneck and Strick. Um, and that was gifted to me by Victoria Blues. Thank you, Victoria. And then right before I got on, um, to start doing my show notes and everything. Uh, I got Dark and Stormy, which I know, just about everyone knows that pattern. I've heard of it on several podcasts. Mm -hmm. And that's a uh, sweater pattern by Baby Cocktails, and Allison Roseboom uh, gifted that to me. Oh, you made out like a bandit. I know. Awesome. I feel special. Awesome. So, very awesome patterns. Um, I need to get a few things off the needles. By a few things, I mean a couple sweaters, just because... I'm not able to keep up with the pace of sweaters that I used to since I have all these toys. I'm, I know a lot, of, I used to be primarily knit and now I'm almost half and half mm -hmm. um, knit and crochet just because of these sweaters, uh, I mean because of these toys and then this uh, swap thing. It's a lot quicker to work up a crochet than it is a knit. And sometimes you have a very tight schedule for those. Yes. So. Okay. Um, 
anything autobiography for you? Yes. Uh, I have written a, a little over 1,200 words to the shared story, or 1,200 words to the shared story, and I critiqued a chapter for a friend in my writing group. I'm still behind in my writing group, but I did do that. I posted a uh, prompt to another writing group, and the other member is probably wondering why I haven't written, but it, he, he knows that I haven't been well most for a while. I'm better now, but uh, I haven't been able to write a whole lot for that kind of stuff. And uh, I've been reading Heritage of Shannara. Shannara. It's, n it's not Heritage. Yes, it's Heritage. Yeah, it, the first book, Scions. Um, yeah, we're on the second book, which is... Are we on the second book? We're on the oh, second we are on the book. second book, we, right. We're, we're, yeah, we're on the one with the dark uncle. Yeah, we're in... We're heading into chapter... I'm heading into chapter 11, because I'm ha about to I am too. Par. I am too. Um, or, or I'm, no, I'm actually, I'm past that. I'm actually past that. Because I got into the point where the dark uncle meets quickening, and I just couldn't stop. Right. Yeah, I'm past that. Because that's a good section. Because I'm back, I'm back into going into the dark uncle. Okay, yeah, I'm not there yeah. yet. Yeah. Um, so... We've been enjoying that. Uh, you can definitely tell that he's becoming a more polished writer by that point. Right. Heidi, you're going to like this series when you're finally able to sit down and read yes, it. Yes, you will. Um, um, I know she's been busy with the um, Fiber Festival mm -hmm. and all that, so. Um, or whatever that was that she did her stuff. I mentioned that I'm in the Superhero vs. Villain Swap and the Nerdy Swaps group. Um, I have been doing a lot of comic book reading. Mm -hmm. Uh, lately, uh, catching up on some of my geekdoms, I've realized that unless I start going to New 52, I've pretty much read all the Nightwing comics, so I need to start branching out. Um, so, I still have a few Batmans I haven't read that are pretty classic. I don't like the Damien Wayne period as much, so I've been kind of avoiding his time period. Although, if you read him, he's not as bad as... No, I and, I, and I, I'm going to eventually branch out into there, because if I... I'm going to have to start reading um, Nightwing, Dick Grayson, when he takes over as Batman for a while. Right. Um, and that'll hit Damian Wayne's period. And, and uh, he, he's difficult. You have to get past the rough spots. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, well, he's a lot like his father. Yeah. Just add a good dose of Talia in there. Yeah. Um, not you. Not me. Yeah. Talia. Talia's his mother. Yeah. Um, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Her secret life. Oh, gosh. Um, Talia yes, Ogle. I am a... Um, uh, a assassin. crazy assassin yes. who is a thing for Batman. Yes. Um, um, but I'm branching out into reading some Green Lantern. Yeah, I'm reading Green Lantern as well. Um, Sinestro's character fascinates me, even though he's one of those characters you love to hate. Mm -hmm. um, reading some Flash. Reading some Superman. Um, not a lot of Superman, because after a while, um, his character just can't hold my attention. Well, he needs to have a foil. He needs to have a foil. He has to have another character work with him. And then I really like reading him. Um, right. Even sometimes just having Lois there is enough of a foil. Right. Um, well, she's more hard-edged. Uh -huh. And then... Uh, last you need a slightly harder-edged character to work with him. Last night we watched um, Batman Under the Red Hood. Yeah, I've watched it before. And that's... Uh, that talks about Jason. So that's... The pretty second Robin. The, sec the second Robin, yeah. So that's pretty It's funny, though, when you've read the comic beforehand... Um, because then when they show clips in the movies, you're like, oh yeah, I remember the face he was making at that exact moment in the mm -hmm. comic and how it was drawn. And I've seen some of the clips on YouTube, mm -hmm. like just little snippets. So I was like, oh, I saw that before. Have I seen this? No, it was just a clip, a couple of clips. Well, to show my geekiness, I was, whenever I watched this, I'll be like, well, you know, they handled that slightly different in the comic. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the comic, he said this. Well, they, they, they wouldn't. <laughs> To see our geekiness, they should have heard a conversation this morning. Yeah. 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 I have um, some websites that I may or may not frequent um, that go into the stats of superheroes. I have a Marvel website. I have a DC website. The DC one gets frequented more often. And it runs through stats, stats <laughs> such as, like, height, weight. weight. Um, I'm a serious nerd. <laughs> um... So, and also, a lot of times I'll get information about different comics I should mm -hmm. read, but sometimes I just sit there and I'm like, well, so-and-so is so much taller than so-and-so, and, you know, he's way so much more than so -and, and we had this conversation because we had this conversation because we are nerds and we were trying to figure something out for story stuff, and yeah. Yes. 
So enough said about that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we <laughs> seriously need a life. Um, okay, do you have anything else? No, that's it for me. Okay, we want to uh, thank Bella Socks for her wonderful donation of yarn to this podcast. Uh, we have, I think we are, we may or may not be coming to the end of her very generous donation of yarn. And um, also Maria Wilhelmina, who is Marriott. I think we have a couple more skeins left of hers, uh, various, very generous donation of yarn. So we want to thank them. And we have already thanked uh, all the other um, donators for the current um uh, sweater along but we do want to thank them once again thank you for all the things that you have donated we really appreciate it we could not as we have said multiple times give the prizes we do uh, to the to the, all of you without, uh, without your help yeah. because you know that's it, it would just would not be possible so we thank you for making um, for helping to make our alongs our cow cows what they are you know both with your presence and your and your general, in general, your participation, and mm -hmm. then those of you who donate, um, we can't do it without either one of you. We have to have both of you. So we yes. are really appreciate it, and uh, we give you hugs, lots of hugs. And uh, do you have anything else? Pick up your free bunny before he goes on sale. Yes. Which sounds like it's actually kind of self defeating because I'm telling you to pick up something for free. Well, and then tell everybody about yes. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can get it for free, but tell everybody about it so they can buy it. <laughs> so um, um, I'm a little self defeating that way, but I'd rather see multiple bunnies. Is. They um, multiply like rabbits. Yes, they generally do. I, did, I did say that. I, I went there. So I, I, went I want to see bunnies multiplying. Multiplying. Being fruitful or multiplying. Yes. Okay, so we um, wish you all. A very blessed week. <laughs> you want to share the joke with the class? So I'm thinking of wishing you Merry Christmas. <laughs> wish you a Merry Christmas. No. Um, we want to wish you all a very blessed week full of everything that you want to do, full of joy and happiness, uh, full of your knitting and crocheting and whatever else makes I your heart my happy. Row. This is Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast. And we need to change your picture. And that's a wrap.